be checked out. Yeah, like like I said, dog, in, in, the, in a room that shit was a fight, dog. Like, yeah. I, I I totally didn't expect to go online and see. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Everything yeah. that I was seeing it caught me by surprise too. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how way, I felt. You know, I, mean, I thought they was gonna say it was debatable, but you know, like I said, we talked about like it. Like I right said, there. it could be different too because of your mic shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what it, I don't wanna give a... no excuses. If they you if they're giving you the win, you got it, bro. Right. I ain't I ain't finna give excuses. I'm just gonna get mine, earn mine. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't want no um, sympathy or pity, bro. Like, I feel you. Take your shit. That's why I was telling you about the shit, bro. Yeah. Claim your shit, bro. I Fuck all of that. Fuck even though it's me. Claim your shit. You got the win, claim it, bro. You feel right. like that? You feel like though I win? Fuck our friendship. That was about you, bro. You right. Claim that shit, bro. Win, right, bro. Okay. Yeah, who's next? Um. Well, K-Shine just done, right? More battle rappers need to take note because I noticed when certain battle rappers lose, or he didn't lose, he won. He won 3-0. He won 2-1. And it's clear that he lost. Kayshawn admitted that he lost to Chilla. And that just goes to show you that Kayshawn is in the culture. It's being real to itself. And it's gonna keep it real with his fans. And that's why he's such a good writer. That's why he's such a good battle rapper. He's setting the example of what other battle rappers should be doing. Everybody that battles consistently Everybody in battle rap that battles has had a loss. Nobody is undefeated in battle rap, no matter how good you are. At some point in time, if you're battling consistently, you're gonna lose. I haven't seen not one person in battle rap that's undefeated. But how many battle rappers you can say, look, okay, I lost. DNA would admit he loses his loss if he did lose. You see what I'm saying? That's why the NWX is so good. Because them guys take the craft serious. They're not jokers. You see what I'm saying? They're keeping it real for themselves. That's why they keep on progress. That's why people like DNA and K-Shine, they keep on progress. K-Shine got handed a 3-0. He could have denied it. You see what I'm saying? But he manned up and he earned up to it. And that's what more of you battle rappers should be doing. And I understand some fans have got a bias towards certain battle rappers. So even when they're kicking your battle rapper's ass, you're still saying he lost 3-0. Man, in fact, you know that he won convincingly. Cast aside your bias and analyze the battle and take it for what it is. Stop being influenced by the comment section. You see what I'm saying? Stop being influenced by bloggers. So what you do, as a fan, analyze the battle, analyze what every blogger's saying, you know, sift through the week, and come up with your own analysis of the battle. But don't allow bloggers, don't allow the app votes or the YouTube votes to influence you. Don't allow your bias to influence you. You see what I'm saying? So, you gotta give it up to Keishon. He's a veteran, he's Mount Rushmore. He always comes prepared. You see what I'm saying? It's just that he tried to lose something different on Sandy. It was a different type of K-Shine, but that wasn't good enough. It wasn't that K-Shine was bad, but it wasn't good enough on the night to beat Chilla Jens because K-Shine always shares up the curve. You see what I'm saying? So rest assured, his next battle is coming back beast mode, animalistic, because it's not going to lose two in a row. That's not like him. He takes his crab too serious. And I'm going to give him respect for earning up and taking this loss because there's very few battle rappers that take a loss and admit it like he did. He is man enough to admit it. You see what I'm saying? Who wants to say they lost? But hey, if you lost, you lost. You see what I'm saying? So a lot of you fans, you're not helping some battle rappers then you're lying to them. You're saying, yeah, he won three enough, then full well, he got cooked in the ring. But it's just that you have a bias on towards another artist. So you're gonna say that artist lost, even though the artist beat the battle rapper that you like convincingly. So battle rappers be on let be on a word. Learn from what K Shine did. You see what I'm saying? He's not gonna walk around in denial. His next battle, he be that much sharper, that much better. He's admitting his loss. He's not walking around there like some battle rappers talking about, I'm undefeated, I didn't lose and I'm never lost a battle. And it's more than one guy that does. There's a few battle rappers that do that. 
Cassidy does it. Gortz has done it before. You see what I'm saying? So, they're not the only ones. But if guys can start admitting, when they lose, they'll be in a much better position. Because I know it's like battle rap, he is opinionated, but it's clear. When you see a battle, when you're watching a battle and you analyze, like me, when I'm watching a battle and analyze it, I could pick a winner right there. Unless the battle's that good, it's a backwards and forward battle. Like if the Verb and Tay Rock, before I could call a winner, that's a different story. But when you see a battle rapper clearly outshining the next battle rap, killing him, murdering him, and you say that he lost because you got a bias against him, you're not being honest with yourself. You see what I'm saying? And the culture needs to eradicate that germ. So yeah, salute to K-Shine for being man enough to admit his loss. And watching his next battle, it's going to be that much better.